Uh, hi everybody, this is a quick second lab video. So if you're working on your calculations and you're getting stuck, uh, remember if you go into the Canvas assignment, you'll see uh, a document, a calculation helps. So uh, open that up and I'll help walk you through it. Um, but once you have your calculations done, we need to figure out how to add the chemicals to the bag. So students in class are gonna be doing this in person, but you all, I wanna give you some insights. So if we have our Ziploc bag, and in the last video I said that we're going to be using uh, vinegar. I, really, we're using six molar hydrochloric acid. So the question is, hydrochloric acid, strong acid. So what does it mean when we say six M's? We read that as six molar. And what does that mean? That tells us the concentration. So our last unit of the year, we'll look at solutions. And the concentration of a solution, if it's six M, six molar, that means that there's six moles of hydrochloric acid in one liter. So if I had one liter, a one liter jug of six molar hydrochloric acid, then there would be six moles of HCl within that one liter of uh, solution. So that, that can be a little bit tricky since we didn't talk about that yet. So six molar acid is pretty strong. 12 molar hydrochloric acid is, is concentrated. That's, that's the real deal stuff. So six molar acid is like one part water, uh, one part acid. So it's still strong enough that we gotta be cautious, right? Hydrochloric acid, even one molar hydrochloric acid is still something I don't wanna get on me, right? It's a strong acid. So, we got a plastic bag. We're gonna know how much baking soda we need. So we'll go to the stair, we'll measure out a couple grams of baking soda based on our calculations. The tricky part is we wanna put the baking soda in one side of our bag. And then what I typically do is like fold it. So I put baking soda on one side and then I fold it to sort of subdivide my bag. And then we got some acid and like dropper bottles like this. And then uh, or I might put a little beaker out with some pipettes in it. And then you can get your 10 milliliter graduated cylinder, measure out how much hydrochloric acid you need. And typically I tell students to add a little extra. So let's say your calculations say you need like seven milliliters of hydrochloric acid. I say, hey, get like two milliliters extra, get like nine or 10. Uh, so that way that's you know, there's enough to mix and that's that's not your limiting reactant So the baking soda is our limiting reactant uh, The hydrochloric acid we add a little extra so that it's excess and we make sure we have enough to mix So if we got the baking soda on one side of our bag uh, Typically I have students pour the acid very carefully into the other side And then keep it divided the best you can and then zip it shut and then once it's zipped shut You want it to be flattened Right? We don't want it to be inflated because if it's already partially inflated when you add your chemicals then it's going to inflate too much and it could pop and get a hole in it and, and then that would hurt your lab grade. So you want it to be flat just like the dry slab. And then once you have it ready to go you just sort of mix it and sort of shake it and we'll get lots of CO2. Right, We've all seen acid and baking soda reaction. It produces lots of carbon dioxide gas and uh, the bag should inflate. So that's what we did in the lab. Um, so that's it. Virtual students, turn in your calculations. And uh, yeah, that's it for this lab. So I'll talk to you later. See ya.